I tried to secretly replicate my wife's missing ring and it did not go to plan. A few months ago, my, 44 meters, wife, 43 feet, lost a ring given to her by her late grandmother. My wife was really close to her grandmother, so needless to say, the ring held significant sentimental value for her. Also, given that her grandmother died last year, it was a particularly painful blow. We searched high and low but never found it. After it was missing for about a month and my wife started losing hope, I decided that I'd have the ring replicated. We did have quite a few pictures of the ring, so I thought it could potentially be done. I did suggest the idea to my wife, but she did seem very receptive to it. She said things along the lines of how it couldn't be done and how it wouldn't be a replacement for the one her grandmother gave her. However, she didn't specifically say she would not allow me to replicate it. I ended up taking the pictures to a jeweler and described the piece to the best of my abilities. Two months and nine grand later, the ring was ready. I will admit that I kept all of this secret from my wife, and the day it was ready, I cancelled work to pick it up and placed it between two sofa cushions that my wife usually sits around. I didn't want to present her with a ring, as I thought she wouldn't like that based on our conversation earlier. Fast forward a few days, and my wife finds the ring. She's overjoyed, happier than I've seen in a long time. I congratulated her on finding it and thought that was that. Recently, my wife started questioning the ring. For the past few weeks, she's been telling me things like how it feels a bit different. Today, when I got back from work, my wife started asking me about the ring. She was saying things like how it felt different and how it looked different. I'll save you most of the details, but in summary, after about 5 minutes of grilling me, I confessed about having the ring replicated. To say she was furious would be an understatement. Basically, she yelled at me for being dishonest, claimed that I was acting like being married to her was charity, and also said that I had insulted her intelligence and embarrassed her in front of her friends and family, as she told them all that she found the ring. I apologized and told her that I didn't want to see her depressed, but she refused to listen. She ended up locking herself in our bedroom. I tried apologizing again, but all she did was slide the ring under the door towards me. All this just made me confused and conflicted about the entire situation. Was this wrong of me to do? How could I have dealt with this better? Update 1. I've had a lot of responses so here are a few answers. When I brought up replacing it earlier this year, she didn't expressly say she didn't want that but alluded to how it would not be the same. I guess I should have just listened and tried something else to cheer her up instead of this band-aid solution. I know I better start apologizing. Once she cools down, I'll definitely be apologizing again. Though there will probably be a night or two of me sleeping on the couch before we reach that stage. Unfortunately I think this particular ring is poison to her. Something Tolkien wrote about. I've got to start from scratch again I suppose. I'm going to do something else for her. Update 2. It's been a few days since I last posted, and I'd like to provide an update on what's been happening. As expected, I did end up spending a few nights sleeping on the couch. My wife was very angry with me, so I kept my distance and allowed her time to cool off. During this time, I've been keeping the replacement ring with me, as I didn't think my wife would even want to see it. Our youngest asked me why I was sleeping on the couch the other night, and I told him that it was good for his old man's back. It's another lie, but I didn't feel too bad going ahead with it. Tuesday night, after the kids went to bed, I apologized profusely for the entire situation. I told her that there was zero justification for what I did and that I should have listened to her rather than trying to replace the ring. I told her that what I did was unbelievably foolish and inconsiderate and I then offered to explain to her family and friends the situation if they were to ask about it. We did end up talking for a long time, and she told me that it was very difficult to describe how she felt about my actions. On the one hand, she was very frustrated that I thought I could just replace the ring, yet, on the other hand, she was a bit amused that I'd go to such lengths and said she appreciates that aspect. She ended up reaccepting the ring, and I was allowed back into our bedroom. Things do seem to be slowly returning to normal, but if there's one thing I've learned about married life, it's that this conversation will probably be revisited a few more times in the future, and they will likely make my wife upset again. For that reason, I have decided to buy my wife a necklace, which I'll surprise her with in a few days. I'm thinking that this will hopefully soften her anger if this conversation ever does come up again. 